All right, where am I going? Basement. This music. All right, going this way. Oh yeah! The map told me that these things were open and I didn't actually go this way and I was confused because it had already marked these things off even though I hadn't been to them. I was like, why would you tell me that these things are open when I haven't even tried these doors in this not infra world? See, if there's something... Okay, wait, is this a staircase? What is this? Oh, what the hell? Where does this lead me to? Right there. So I don't need to go up here. Oh, maybe I did go up here and I just went up the stairs. Maybe that's why. It's because I never actually explored the rest of it. Oops. Okay, let me try this. Hug the right wall, hug the right wall. Where am I, where am I, what? Hurry up, loading. Uh... Oh, fuck off. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, thank you. So, what haven't I done then? <sighs> um... I could go back to the infra world. Um, I could go to... I don't have any items, really. I have little things that teleport, transport me to different worlds, and I have little things that show things that I'm supposed to do later. I need to get onto the left side of the map somehow. And I don't see an easy way to do that just yet. Actually, there's more that I haven't explored right there on the second floor. So why don't I go up two floors in this world? This world oh, fuck! What do I press? Get off! These quick time events are actually like some of the most awful quick time events I've ever seen. Oh, fuck. Why are so many furries, dogs, and cats? More like, why are so many furries dogs? Because there's, bar there's barely any cats in comparison to dogs. There's The, the furry community is like 50% dogs and, and foxes. Like wolves and canines in general. Overwhelming amount. I need to go up one more time. When will my new album be out? Next year. So I've got recording sessions booked all the way until like mid-September. And then Film Fest shit is happening. So I'm not doing any recording sessions during Film Fest. Um, and so I know I'm going to book more recording sessions after that point. Because I have a lot more to do. Um, but... I mean, there's yeah, there's no way like all the mastering and everything's gonna get done before next year. So I'm glad that I started it now because, you know, it's I'm yeah I'm not I'm not unhappy I'm not impatient. What's the rarest furry persona? You mean fursona? Um, I don't know. There's hybrids. I know a, a panther squirrel monkey, which just sounds absolutely retarded. I know, but I know. <laughs> I know of one. <laughs> so that's pretty rare. Right? A brony Death Note opening? That sounds funny. I would love to watch that, actually. That's kind of funny. 
Get me out of here. What the what? <laughs> Oh, why don't I use the meat hook? I'm hurting. Can I not? Why don't I can't? Why can't I use that to get the key? Why is it just a melee weapon? Fuck off! I can't do this. It's a hook! It's a hook! Really? What fursona would I never fuck? Like IRL? Probably like a monkey. I'm really not attracted to monkeys. Fuck off! I hate it when there's like an easy solution, but it's like, nope, not the right one. Sorry. I hate that shit. Yeah, I don't like monkeys. Like, any monkeys I've ever seen in like animated furry porn or whatever, and also in real life, I guess, but that's kind of a redundant thing to say. All, all, all monkey fursona shit, never been attracted to at all. It's kind of just like killed my boner in a way. Okay, I'm gonna stop the. Am I gonna switch off the. Oh, it's drainage? Okay. No! You idiot! You fucking idiot! God damn it! I had a meat hook! Ugh. Yeah, raptors are pretty cool. Cheetahs are pretty cool. <sighs> oh, should I watch this brony death note opening right now? Okay, I'm... Okay, watching it on my phone just because it sounds so fucking funny. Caramel, caramel apple pie. Um. This is kind of funny. I really love Maximum the Hormone as a band. There's so many AMVs of My Little Pony, you know. It used to be, it used to be like Lion King. It used to be the most AMV'd. Lion King and Wolf's Reign. Now it's like My Little Pony everywhere. Okay, skipping through it. I'm bored already. All right, going back to chat. Sorry, guys. That was all right. That was moderately entertaining for like maybe five seconds. Back to the game. Okay, so clearly I got to go down a level and then go to that exact same room. If not, then down... More than one level. Oh! Get me to the map! Um. Are furries attracted to real life animals? I'd imagine a select few are. You know, <laughs> but not not the vast majority of furries. Otherwise, why would you be a furry and not just a zoophile? It kind of seems like kind of seem it, 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 it like it seems like the most redundant thing you could possibly do, like the most unnecessary jump through hoops, mental gymnastics, really effortful thing you could possibly be doing with your life. If you were a zoophile and you just decided, like, no, I'll just be attracted to the halfway point between humans and what I'm actually... Fuck! Now I gotta go all the way... Fucking goddamn. And then what I'm actually attracted to and... 
pretend like I'm attracted to something that I'm not in order to live out, but not really live out, but just pretend as though I want to live out fantasies that are half of what I like. That seems so stupid. Like, obviously there's some crossover, just like there is in anything. But, I mean... <laughs> There's so there's so many stupid people out. Oh fuck! There's so many stupid people out there that think like, oh yeah, all furries just really secretly want to fuck animals, but they don't admit it to themselves. Really? Why would you admit to yourself that you're a furry, which is already like, hated, like super fucking hated by everybody? Why would you Why would you ad admit yourself to being a part of a group that nobody fucking likes, so that you can avoid? admitting to yourself that you're a part of a group that nobody likes. That like, seems kind of fucking stupid. Like, why- if- 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 if that was the logic, then why not just not admit anything? Then why not just convince yourself- if- if you're a zoophile that's- that- that has a mental blockage that is convincing yourself that you're not one, and in turn convincing yourself that you're something else- OH FUCKING CHRIST! Then why- then why- then why convince yourself you're a furry, or convince others that you're a furry, instead of just convincing yourself or others that you're just a normal human being who's attracted to women? Like, humans. Human women. Like, why- why go through the extra steps? Right? Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> you're kind of stupid. <laughs> okay. Fuck! That was really annoying. I wasn't sure if I wasn't sure if those uh fuck if the uh slow uh big things like that. I wasn't sure if those were the same things as the really fast big things that ran into me earlier. Yes, it turns out they were. Turns out they're the the, the, the exact same thing. I have a lot of shotgun ammo. Well, I'm gonna... Equip my wrench. Which... I have no fucking clue why a wrench like that would ever break, but I'm gonna assume that it will based on how many stupid, pointless melee items they're throwing my way. Uh... Oh, Jesus. That's an interesting Link freak. So, to be directly underneath that. Yes, it's the drainage room. Ugh. Will the key just be here now, and I can get it, and it's fine? I had a meat hook! I can't reach it through the grate! Can I use my meat hook? My hook? My liter- my literally- I shouldn't- I'm just getting pissed off. I'm upset. I'm upset! Say it louder so the rest of the band can hear you! I'm upset! Are you one of those single-tiered... boys? I'm upset! Arr. <sighs> this is difficult. Wait! Why is this room... Such an asshole to me. Why can't why? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the stairs. Oh god. I haven't. No, these are melee weapons. I can't use them. I can equip them as a weapon. This is a screwdriver. I can equip it, but I can't use it. That's such that's such bullshit. It's so awful. 
Ah, uh, where do I go? Maybe I should go to the infra world and then try and reach it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Dodi, you gotta get my family from the infra world. Yeah, I know he's making another movie, which is cool. I'd like to see it. I think. Hopefully it'll be decent. Oh, fuck. That's so weird. Sorry, that link you posted. That's so weird. <laughs> I was having a conversation with someone who I won't name. <clears throat> who... Oh, fuck! Who was, I guess, in this... Who... Fuck, did I die?! What just happened? No, I went... I went through the door because I pressed X, despite the fact that I had my weapon brandished and I was trying to fight this thing that was right in front of the door. X is the button that you press when you have your weapon brandished and you want to hit the thing that is in front of you. And despite the fact that I was not facing the door, it decided I wanted to go through the door. God damn it. Ah! I should use that uh, health pack, shouldn't I? I was having a conversation with somebody who was like, who didn't consider themselves to be a furry. And I'm not going to name this person. Um, and uh, I had a conversation with them and they, oh, I don't really have a health pack, do I? I can use this. Um, and then, like, eventually I was like, I was telling them about myself and, like, that I'm a furry or whatever. And then eventually, I guess that it kind of got out of them. They kind of admitted it to it. And they were saying, like, I showed them, like, some of the shit that I'm into and, like, some of my porn. And they said, like, wow, that's actually pretty tame, actually. I'm like, what? Interesting. Like, I've never met somebody who would say that, like, the... Like furry porn of any kind is like tame. It's like kind of vanilla or tame. Like I've got a, I'm getting, I'm uh, like I'm the horse dude getting fucked in the ass by big cat guys. Um, and then I saw, and then I, uh, and then he shared with me some of his stuff, and it was like super, it was like super ginormous, like kind of fat, fat furry shit, which is like, I mean. I shouldn't judge. What the fuck, dude? Sorry, I gotta kill this thing. I'm pissing myself off. Let me destroy you. Um, but yeah, it was like super, like hyper, hyper, hyper fat stuff. It was kind of funny. I don't know. Like, I'm not into it, obviously, because if you look at any of the furry porn that I ever jerk off to, it's not like fat shit. But it was it was kind of like a weird wake up call moment where I was like, oh yeah, there are versions of furry porn that are like a lot less vanilla than the furry porn that I'm interested in. I for sometimes I forget how vanilla my furry porn is, which is such a weird thing to say because it's not like as soon as it's furry, it's no longer vanilla. But whatever. He was a cool guy. We had a good conversation. Um, okay, going the right way. It's like super fat. Oh, yeah, I love muscles. Not hyper, not like hyper muscles. Null, null ghosts, uh, Pictures are about as... Oh, look at that! Null Ghost's pictures are about as... Um, big. That I could still be attracted to it. Because those are some, like, ginormous muscles. But they're still, like... Attainable. <laughs> they're still, like, within the realm of reality that these things would exist. Ah! So what is this key for again? Let me, uh, let me hide myself in the in Fuck off! No, fuck! 
God damn it, I don't have anything. Fuck Christ! No, I'm gonna die! No! Archives. <laughs> I have, like, no health. This is really upsetting. Well, I'm dead. Fuck! How far do I have to go back? This is... That was, an an that was a really annoying noise. That was the worst game over noise I've ever heard. Wow, okay. Really? Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, successful load. I wish uh, I wish I had someone to give me a successful load, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so how far how far back am I? Was this before I did this thing? Yes, it is. So I know exactly what I have to do. At least, fuck off. Do I like Rhino Hunk? Let's see. Click the link. Oh fuck, yeah, he's attractive. That's like That's like not that's not like over muscle or anything. That's like super attractive actually. Ugh. And such is life where uh anything that I'm actually attracted to does not exist in the real world. And I'm a freak of nature. I am therefore automatically thrust into this group of people who also are not able to be attracted to anything that exists in reality. And society really hates this group of people. And I am one of them. I am destined to forever be treated like shit by people in society because of something that I don't control. C'est la vie. Ho, ho, ho. Baguette. Would I fuck someone who has a bunch of tattoos? Oh, that's interesting. Um, sure. I don't know. It depends what their tattoos are. That's a pretty vague fucking question. <laughs> That's not how you ride a horse. You're doing it wrong! This is very tedious because there's other games that I've played where the character has literally just like reached in the toilet. In fact, in Silent Hill 2, I'm pretty sure that happens. But but that's just a fear we Fuck off. Don't kill me. Ah, oh, I need an energy drink. What got me into making movie reviews? Being opinionated on movies. That, that did it. Okay. Nope. All right, not making this mistake again, miss. <laughs> Mistake again.
Um, yeah, it's turned around already. Fucking kick it! Kick it! What are you doing?! I was pressing the X button like 30 fucking- Why didn't you kick it? I pressed the button! What angle was I supposed to be facing him from where that would have worked? Ugh. I'm gonna take out my pistol. That's a better idea. I'm gonna look at how much ammo I have. Shotgun 16, target ammo 30, health drink. I should take one of these health drinks right now, actually. There we go. <sighs> you found Adam in a fursuit? No, you didn't. Let me click on the link anyway. <laughs> I'm not a cat. <laughs> You're crazy. You crazy. For real, you crazy. Okay, um... Uh... Is it weird that most of the calories I consume in a day come from alcohol and not food? Or is that just how things are supposed to be? Okay. Is that just how life works? You can't... Oh yeah, I have to go to the infra world, I forgot. Ugh. Fuck that energy drink bullshit, it doesn't make sense. I guess health drink doesn't also, but whatever. Alcohol is super high calorie, which is like literally probably the only reason at all that I've gained any weight is because of alcohol. Because I drink a lot at this point. Okay, so go into that room, grabbing the key. Have I listened to Bottomless Pit yet? No. Fuck off! Why are you so close? I'm going. No! I would have a problem if they were light beers. That's... <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily true. Because you can drink less calorie alcohol than light beers, too. And plus, I mean, like, wouldn't it also be a... I don't know. I think, I think drinking every day is a problem in its own. Alright, so archives. Is Tom Green still making money? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a really good question. I don't know if he's still making money. Um... These aren't archives. You literally can't even read it when it's zoomed out. All right, second floor. Oh, here it is. Second floor archive right there. But that is blocked off, and that is blocked off. But, um, 
So I can't get it to it from this world. However, there's a portal right there. And then once I... Hmm. I gotta get to it from the normal world stairs of the first floor from the basement. <laughs> what? What? What is that X there for? What is this? What? What is the try? Oh, that's a save thing. Oops. Um, uh, so I gotta go from the first... So where I am... I can go from the first floor or the basement in that thing right there. And where I am right now... So I can change worlds and then just go all the way upstairs. Is what I can do. That's what I get to do. Fuck! I'm going! Sorry. Fuck off! Nude picks when? I don't know. I'd like... I enjoy the attention and chemical brain reaction and overall feeling of warmth and security and happiness that I get from random dudes on the internet I don't know complimenting my body figures <laughs> in a sexual way, but... I'm an internet personality, and uh, doing, releasing nude photos of myself would probably result in some sort of controversy. Would probably result in a lot of drama that I don't really want. So it's unfortunate that the world is uh, insecure about things like sex and sexuality and that the general consensus in society is that sex is bad and uh, expressing yourself sexually is a bad thing apparently so <laughs> send your nudes to red letter media that's funny furry ASMR what the hell Oh my god, it is furry ASMR. That's so fucked up. You're right. That's so funny. That's hilarious. Oh my god, that's so funny. It's always funny when furries have, like, a fursuit that isn't, like, great looking. It's only, like... I don't know. I, I have a threshold for quality. <laughs> no matter what I look at in my life. So I'm gonna criticize everything I fucking see. Um... And, uh... Ugh. Hmm. <sighs> okay, there's Archive. Hello! How are you? Goodbye. Senny has a cute fursuit. Um, but I prefer, like, super thin, skin-tight furry fursuits. No offense, Sunny. Um, yeah, it's, it's cute. It's not bad. Um, I really like, um, Majira has a super f cute fursuit, even though it's not necessarily what I'm attracted to. to. Please, help me understand. I don't, I don't, like, I, I'm not, like, I don't look at Majira's fursuit and go, like, oh, yeah, I want to fuck. But Majira has a super a cute, oh, super, like, he was a bad boy. easy to look at, has been. and, like, more super cute than creepy fursuit. Sure um. They? The people in the mirrors. They see it all. Oh, the people. What's really going on? And it was their idea? Yes. They saw the devil inside of him. I had to kill him. My responsibility, my flesh and blood, 
I brought him into this world, so I had to take him out of it. Good wounds can bear bad sons, they say. I know you think what I did was wrong. I just want to understand. Helen... No! You want to keep me locked up, Doctor. But you can't. I can leave whenever I want. I can step through that mirror and into their <laughs> world. You crazy lady. It's just a daydream. Helen? When will they bring me my boy? Um Oh, what did I fuck? What did I just pick up? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so Majira has a really cute suit. Dash Tiger has a super cute suit. And then beyond that uh, Fix has a super cute suit. Um, oh, who's that fucking kawaii super skinny dancer partial wolf suit person that is on the poster for the furry documentary called Fursonas? Whoever that is has a super cute suit. And, like, I, th I feel like it works better when you're skinny. I feel like it really does. Like, the overall effect of a fursuit. When you're skinny and you have a skin-tight suit. Like, super skinny suit. I'm not even into skinny guys, really. But when you have, like... Even if you're, like, a muscly dude underneath a fursuit. So many people do that, and they're, like, they put... They have to put, like, fake abs and shit on their fursuit. You know? So weird. Oh yeah, that one's a pretty cool suit. That wolf Japanese one. Oh hey, now this rest of the area is uh, accessible. All right. Well, um, I'm out of drinks. I need another. Another one. I wholeheartedly feel like if I... I'm looking at something, but my camera won't show me! I pressed the button like 30 fucking times! <laughs> oh my god. I'm clicking the link. Um... Okay. I was like, I know something's in front of me. Let me move the camera so that I can see it with this button that you've already established is the button that you should press if you want to move the camera so you can see whatever the fuck is in front of you. Except it doesn't let me. You know? It doesn't let me. It's like, oh, not at this angle. Doesn't work. Fuck off. I hate that shit. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's... It stinks. It stinks. Ah, oh. It's bullshit. It's actually bullshit. Have I seen this? What am I clicking on? Big money. Oh, well, no, I like, I like internet comment with Eric or whatever. So I'll watch that video another time, although I haven't seen that specific video, I think. So... Sending me, sending me a link to a channel that I already watch and like. It's kind of redundant, because I'll see it at some point anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what? Can I go even further down? I guess I can. <laughs> Child crushing fetish. Somebody has it. How many people do you think, like, have children that are, like, unregistered and never, that are never, like, birthed in a hospital and they have children and they, like, just abuse them and kill them? Because I, I think that that has to be a common thing for, like, sick fucks, even in America. You would, you would think that there's people out there that do that kind of shit, right? Like, how could that not exist? Think about it. There's ways to get pregnant and 
not have anybody know about your baby? All you have to do is just be a loner and never leave your house. And then the husband can get shit for you, right? Don't tell me that nobody's ever thought of that. Don't tell me that nobody's ever had that idea. People are sick. But not like furries. Those are the real problem. Yeah, there has to be there has to be so many cases like that. And by cases I mean they're not even cases because they never even make it to court. Nobody finds out about it. Hot SMR daddy, let me look. Um this looks awful already, so I'm just gonna exit out. Try not to send me YouTube links, because I feel like I'm it's pointless for me to watch YouTube while I'm streaming. Oh hey! Ah What the Can I just take the mirror off the wall and bring it with me and go to the infra world whenever I want? I like the lobster. It's funny that people keep asking me about it, even though I've already kind of given my thoughts on it. Uh, fuck Simons. A male child entered through the sanitarium unchallenged and got through into a female seclusion. Doors were left unlocked. He entered female seclusion room 5, at which point orderly Michaels observed him and alerted me. The boy was the child of a visitor and was taken away by his father. Failures. The doors to the female seclusion were left unlocked by the orderly, and the staff in the lobby failed to notice the boy when he arrived in the mezzanine area. Recommendation all staff to be reminded of the importance of locking more doors. Review of staff to be conducted by duty managers. Blech. <laughs> Why I oughta? <sighs> What's my favorite Silent Hill game? Three, followed by two, and then four, and then one, and then the rest of them I haven't played. This this is a this is a new game to me. I should probably just stay away from melee weapons unless I'm sure. I should have I should have my real yeah instead of having a melee weapon equipped and then changing to a real weapon if there's too big of a threat I should have my real weapon equipped and then change to a melee weapon if the threat is minimal I think that's a lot smarter actually I think that that's a smarter way to do things so there's some stairs okay in before this door is locked Locked. Yeah, that's what I thought. It wants me to go up the stairs. It wants me to take this long, inefficient route. Yeah, I didn't like Silent Hill 1 that much. I've played it multiple times and it's never really stuck with me. There's part, like, there's so many parts of it that I just don't remember. Like, I can appreciate it for its time period. But I don't just judge things of, like, oh, how was it back then? I judge things like, how is it now? How is it right now as I'm playing it? What is the exper experience I'm getting? Ugh. 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 Well, time to go to the west. Uh... Dictorium. Ugh. What a fag. Damn kids. You fuck babies. Oh fuck. What am I supposed to. What? Do I have to go up again? What the hell? Oh wait, I can go through this way. It's l unlocked from this side now. There we go. Okay. So now I can go to the doctor's office or something? Like... 
Duck the duck duck come put the brakes on me. You gotta send me home, cause I'm not leaving till someone leave with me. Right now that's all I'm on. I'm confused. What's the best Kro Kro Krogiberg movie? Um, fuck, you know, I always get him confused with John Carpenter, and I think I like John Carpenter better because I think John Carpenter has made better movies than Cronenberg ever has. The Thing and They Live are both better than, I think, any Cronenberg movie. I thought The Fly was all right. I wasn't blown away by it. History of Violence was pretty good. I wasn't blown away by it. Haven't seen Eastern Promises yet. Um, uh, that one that he did with Robert Pattinson was bad. That new one that he did with Mia Wasikowski or whatever her name is, was bad. Um, yeah, I said Cronenberg made the fly. That's what I, that's what I, I never said he didn't make the fly. I never said Car Carpenter made the fly. Um, I don't know, what else did Cronenberg make? He made Naked Lunch, which I watched when I was very young, I think like 13. And I thought it was cool, but <laughs> I, I, I probably would get a lot more out of it watching it as an adult, so I'd love to see it again. I understand that it's a uh, criterion and all that. Um, what else did Cronenberg do? Maps to the Stars was awful. Yeah, what did Cronenberg do that's really that great? He did Videodrome, which, which I thought was pretty good. It would pro Videodrome is... Pfft, gotta get that girl. Videodrome is like a movie that I really enjoyed and that I could see being on my best of the year list. For sure. Where have I not been? Where the fuck do I go? What the fuck am I doing? Okay, so, okay, basement. I haven't been there. There we go. I thought that place was blocked off though. Oh no, just in the infra world. Okay, so I gotta go to the real world and do that. Okay, now I get it. I keep calling it the infra world. Nobody comment saying I don't know what it means. I'm making a I'm making a reference to Beyond Two Souls, one of the best games of our generation, and if you don't acknowledge that, then you must be a racist homophobe. But not sexist. The thing's amazing. John Carpenter is so much better. I think I think David Cronenberg's Mark's favorite director too. Like I love his creature effects. At some point, but yeah, and again, like John Carpenter did it so much better. <laughs> John Carpenter, like I said, the thing was like the best creature effects ever. Like you can't beat that, and that's why I always get him confused. Because when I think, when I think David Cronenberg, I think of his creature effects, and I'm like, oh yeah, the thing. But then I realize, no, John Carpenter made it, and it's like the best example of it that Cronenberg never made. I don't know why. I don't think Cronenberg's that great. But why? If Jody was a lesbian in Beyond Two Souls, its ratings would have been great. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. This is this is how we do. This is how we do fuck. Nope. Okay. I haven't seen Dead Ringers. What the hell? 
Rusted shut. Can I use something on that? What is... Is that the door? Oh, there. What the hell? What was rusted shut? If that wasn't the door... Would I fuck my Prime Minister Justin Trudeau? Hell yeah. I'd let him fuck me. Why wouldn't I? What possible reason could I have? I don't think he's a deplorable human being. He said a couple stupid things, but they were very, like, political stupid things. They were very much, like, appeal to my voter demographic stupid, stupid things. I don't like his support for the TPP. Why would I not want to fuck somebody who's rich and powerful and kind of attractive? You know, get on their good side. And he'll get on my good inside. Oof. He's not the Pope of Feminism. He's not. He's really not. He hasn't done... Like, he hasn't made any... Like, he, he hasn't implemented it in any way outside of the 50-50 representation in the cabinet. And that's it. And at that point, like, why does that even matter? Like, if you get to if you get to, to appoint them, if you get to decide who's in your cabinet, then why does it matter if they're if they're men or women? It doesn't. Like, why does it? Why does anybody care? Like, why? Like, it it matters just as much that he did fifty fifty men and women, that it would matter. You know, Stephen Harper picking a majority male. Uh, a majority male uh, cabinet, right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it literally just doesn't even matter. Because you get to you get to pick them. They could be the least qualified person for the job, and it doesn't matter because as a prime minister, you get to do that. And so there's a concern among a lot of like alt right people and a lot of people that I'm friends with too. There's a concern that because Justin Trudeau said, oh, I picked 50-50 men and women because it's 2016, immediately everybody assumes like, oh no, there were there were talented men that he would have chosen, but instead he replaced them with women who might not have been as good for the job. But first of all, I mean, how do you know that these women weren't his best pick for the job in the first place? How do you know that there weren't talent that he didn't want to do 100% women and then he then he decided it should be 50 50 how do you know i think the biggest argument i have against it the biggest argument that i have against it would be that what we had before that was a creationist minister of science like everybody in every position that mattered was completely fucking bought didn't believe in global warming, didn't believe in evolution, because it was, they were all appointed by, uh, Stephen Harper, right? They were all appointed by him, and he chose such fucking worse people for the job. Like, it doesn't matter if they were men or women, because everybody that he picked, everybody that Stephen Harper picked was massively unqualified, right? So, I mean, we're coming, we're coming from, like, a situation where things were a lot shittier into a situation where as far as we can tell regardless of their gender they are more qualified so why does anybody give a shit like why does anybody give a shit it doesn't make any sense to complain like i would rather have a prime minister who's a self-proclaimed feminist whose definition of feminism is 50 50 men and women than somebody showing up in office as a self-proclaimed feminist showing up and saying, no, we need to have a majority of, of women in the cabinet because men have been doing it so, for so long. Can you see, like, how that's so much better? Like, think about that for a second. How, like, there, there are people who identify as feminists who think that you should retroactively apply discrimination to fix discrimination that happened earlier right there's so many feminists that believe that that are like oh no now it's women's turn to dominate and and be unfair right i'm glad that at least his version of feminism is like no 50 50 like that's fine 
I don't see anything wrong with that. I really don't. I, I don't see the why anybody would get upset at it. It seems like such a non-issue. And it's so sad because, like, nobody was criticizing Stephen Harper for that kind of shit. These same people were like, oh, yeah, totally fine. Oh, this is so weird. Um... Blue. <laughs> this is so weird. What the hell is this? Sorry? No, yeah, there's people that legitimately, um, like, legitimately hate Justin Trudeau just because he said a few feminist things and that's about it. Like there's that's such a stupid reason to hate somebody. Why should I care? Like judge him based on what he's accomplishing and what he's actually doing in parliament. Judge him judge him based on the laws he's passing or the laws that he's it, it, that he's intending on passing. I oppose the TPP. He supports the TPP. I'm going to judge him on that, right? I fucking hate him for supporting the TPP, and I think that it's bullshit, which is why I didn't vote for him. So, I mean, like, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and just be like, oh, yeah, he, he picked uh, members of his cabinet that you didn't agree with, but not for ideological reasons or for any reasons involving their talents or their experience, but simply because of their gender. Do you see how stupid that is? Like, there's... <laughs> Stephen Harper's cabinet was not even controversial when he picked it. Why is it suddenly controversial when we have more experienced people that aren't... that aren't an overwhelming majority male? Like, why does that matter? Like, I, I get the point, I get the point of people saying, like, oh, yes, it's because it shouldn't matter. And he specifically picked a cabinet that was 50-50 men and women as a political point. Um, okay, Thugs Bunny, no, 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 I get what you're saying. Like, I, I get the argument that there are far more men that are qualified. But you don't know, first of all, like, there's no way to prove that the people he chose for the job weren't the people that he was planning to choose for the job anyway and then he just used it as a political point or whatever second I mean when you're picking a cabinet name name one prime minister in the history of Canada that has picked the most qualified person for every position in the cabinet there is none. You're not getting that. That's not what a prime minister does. They pick who they want. They pick who they want to be there. And and if you're lucky, we wind up with with uh, you know uh, military experts that are that have experience in the military or science experts that that have experience in science. You know, like we're. I'm very fucking happy with the results because it seems as though. Everybody who has a job is experienced in the job that they're doing, which is a massive fucking, a massive increase, a massive improvement from Stephen Harper, of which he is notoriously known for having cabinet members that, uh, that are incredibly deluded and inexperienced and put their religion above science and facts in these areas where science matters, how could anybody how could anybody be upset about that? How could anybody be upset about it? It doesn't make any sense. It's to to complain about it would be to imply that we're not massively improving from what we had. To complain about it is to like completely ignore why we why this election was so important in the first place. To like not have any understanding of of Canadian politics.
Uh, let's think about this. Oh, hey, there we go. Room one, two, three, four. Red, blue, yellow, green, blue. Are bl both of these blues the same, by the way? Oh, fuck, I need to read this. Why do I have to scroll to the bottom every time? Yeah, they are both the same. Red, blue, yellow, green, blue. Blech. Let's look at these doors. Is it going to show me what the doll looks like? Razors. Red. Simple. Easy. Razor red. Oh, a razor! That's the easiest one. What is the most physically attractive thing about Trudeau? I don't know, that shirtless pic where he has abs. Come on. I know. I'm 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 I know I know it's not in the right order. That's why I'm going into these rooms is to associate the number with the order. Address So yellow is dress. Hat boxes, address, maker's dummy. Perfume. So the girly looking one is yellow. Sexist Japanese fucks. Yes, I've seen that trailer. Red, blue, yellow, green, blue. <clears throat> so one red goes to the razors. One yellow goes to the dress or dummy or whatever. Is white nationalism inherently racist? No, not at all. Piles of uneaten food. So the food boy is a blue boy. Okay. All right. Razor red. Dress yellow. Food blue. And then one in green and one blue left over. Shit. Woo! <clears throat> Lars von Trier or David Lynch? I like von, Tr von Trier better. From what I've seen. Have I ever fucked a Nazi furry? That's funny. Okay. All right. Yellow for you. And red for you. And blue for... Is this one the fatty? Like, is food to represent the fat one? Well, there's three that I don't really know. No? Fuck! <sighs> yeah, Paul Fig saying men aren't funny is fucking hilarious. Because he's, a, he's in charge for the... He, like... As the director, you're in charge of the product. So if you're not if you're a man and you're not funny, then you're saying that your your movie that stars women isn't funny because it's made by a man. Right? Thank you, shut up, Piggy. I appreciate it. So a food related one has to be like this has to be so let me so I tried this one blue. There's only there's only like two more ways I can try this. Really. Three more ways, including this one. There we go. Did it. All right. Dr. Harris. But where's Dr. Harris? Where's the beef? Oh. Doctor's office. There we go. 
Oh, and then I think I can use the Dr. Harris's thing to do something else that I forget completely now by this point. Okay. So I gotta get back to the regular world. Which I have to go... Downstairs to do. I should probably try going upstairs if it lets me. See what's there. I need to save, yo. God damn it! Would I fuck Markiplier? Um, for his voice. But that's about it. I am super attracted to, like, deep voices. Oh, hey, here's a save point. I'm, like, I'm, like, actually super, super fucking attracted to deep voices. Uh, uh, uh. Well, since I'm saving, I should refill my drink. Okay, BRB. Ugh.